Hi everybody, it's Adrian here, Paper Diva 67, and I just wanted to show you a recent paper haul. I bought this stuff probably a couple weeks ago, I just haven't had a chance to work on it or show it to you guys, but I was in my local Beverly's and I started shopping around and I already had quite a few things that I was buying and then, as I was checking out, the gal that works there showed, told me, oh, I just got a new delivery in of Echo Park and Basic Gray and and of their new papers. So I was like, oh my gosh, and I went to town. So I'll start off with that stuff and then I'll show you um, the other things that I purchased there that were on the new site. So um, this is from their kissing booth. These are the stickers of uh, Basic Gray. And this was another um, page of their stickers. And they're really cute. Look at those birdies. Really nice borders. And let's see, you can see here's all their um, letter stickers. And look at that. Isn't that adorable? The little and this is the back side of that paper. And of course, I had to get two of them. Okay, I'll try and go quickly. Oh, but look at that little. Isn't that cute? Okay. Um, here's another paper. Woo! And it has the, um, I guess you'd call this a uh, ledger. These are brown and pink. Which they're really big on. I've seen them do a lot of brown and pink. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just loved that. Woo! And there's that yellow on the back. And then here's kind of like a, you know, page of borders or stripes, whatever you want to call it. And they're pink on the back, which has this very pretty, I didn't even notice that before, the handwriting. And then the birds, which I fell in love with. Oh, I think I'm going to do a birdhouse. That would be so cute, huh? And this is a green, and you're not really getting it good. My camera's not showing you a good shot of the green. Here's a sweet little calico. It's yellow. And more of that pink paper on the back. Well, that's good to know. And then you've got the circles. Kind of reminds me of the wedding quilt, but not quite. Pink. Love, love, love the brown. Had to get two of those. Ooh, hound's tooth. But look what's in the hound's tooth. Do you see that? The little hearts. Cute. So this is a really adorable. That that line is really cute. Oh, and here's dots, and then the brown and pinks. Just really cute papers. Okay, but I couldn't stop there because she also had crepe paper. So, that's not the crepe paper right there. Okay. So here's the stickers for the crepe paper. Look at the tickets. Isn't that cute? And look at this. It says, Love Meter. Isn't that cute? I think that would be great on a card for my husband. And then here's... Um, their paper. It's funny because it looks like a lot of the, the quilt designs really popular. This is like a green stripe. Here's their ledger. And a little pink with the green. Here's a red, a light red. And this is what I liked was all the words. There you go, Valentine, love. Notepad paper. Be cute to make a little notepad, wouldn't it, with that? But here's the back. Oh, love, love, love that. Love floral. Here we go. Here's another quilt like paper from Crate Paper. And the back is their yellow. So those two lines actually can go together pretty well the crate and the basic gray. Um. Some of the papers, anyhow. Look at that cute, isn't that a darling little calico? And then here's their geometric 
on the back. And they have like a brown. It has like, see the, like the lace in it. And then here's their Valentine lace. Isn't that cute? Or not lace doilies. Polka dots and striped. And that was, oh, and then I also picked up their chipboard. I think this was such a good price. I think I remember it was like only like $3.99 or something like that. So, isn't that cute? So, that's their chipboard sticker, chipboard. All right, so while I was there, I just also picked up some um, things I hadn't seen before, but I'm sure have been around. Or maybe I've seen them and I didn't buy them. This is a crate paper. It's kind of like a kitchen. I'm going to be doing a cookbook soon. So, um, I thought this was adorable. Here's all these tags. Those cute. Here's the back side. Um, oh, here's the back side of that other paper that had all the little words. It's like pretty yellow. And, um, oh, this is TCP Studios. Pears. Polka dots. And of course, you got the pots and pans. Okay, so there was that. Um, and then there's some just, I think I found these before and I liked them. I just bought a lot of Valentine's papers, but you know what? I really don't have a lot. So, good excuse, huh? Okay, these are Bow Bunny. And I really don't know if this is brand new or not. Because I'm not seeing a date. So I really don't know. Okay, isn't that cute? And um, here is, this is Echo Park. Um, Be Mine stickers. This, this was probably last year's. But they were cute stickers, so I picked them up. Um, okay, this is how crazy I am, see? Here's another Echo Park. This is a 6x6 pad. This is yours truly. And um, these were more along the lines of gray and black and red. So um, these are cute, huh? I'm trying to show you guys just... Okay, so... See, I am really not called Paper Diva for nothing. I love paper. Hoard paper. It's pretty ridiculous. But, you know, hey. At least my items are small, right? Kind of sort of easy to store. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Now, see, I used to be a quilter. And if that explains anything as to why I just love and hoard paper, anybody who is a quilter... Or fabric person knows how easy it is to hoard fabric. But I will say that I think paper is a lot less expensive. Look at those cute. And, of course, I've always said what I love about paper is you don't have to finish the edges. Isn't that darling? And I think this is just, it repeats. Yeah. So that's the lost and found, which I always, my mind's eye. I love my mind's eye. Okay, I found also what they had there was a whole, uh, this Mind's Eye packet, and it was um, their papers that were glittered, I guess. Some of them are glittered. And I will say this, sorry my Mind's Eye, but their glitter is not really stuck down that great. So it gets on your fingers, and if I had known that, I don't, I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know if I would have bought it. I didn't take it out of the package to see that, although there are some papers that are not glittered. So... So I guess that's okay. Not cute. This one's really pretty. It has all this silver. Like a big postcard. Not pretty on the back. Oh, and this was cute. This dress, like a this, I just think this would make a great 12 by 12. I wouldn't want to cut into this. Let's make a great 12 by 12 uh, layout. And this is cute. That stripe on the back. I can totally see it with that and then here's just a cream this is pretty it's like a green it's really pretty and then there's the back has all their little words Woo! this is cute anyhow the back is there and this one it 
dots. Um, you see the polka dots and the glitters all around the dots. It's a little thing, perfect. And then here's the back with their airplane and their cowboy and spurs. So it's kind of a nice variety. And then this paper they've done over and over again, but here it is in a 12 by 12. So just really nice for a 12 by 12 layout. Backside is brown. And then here is their dictionary, I guess. Yeah, like a dictionary paper, only it's in French. Ooh, I think I have a place for this. In fact, I know I have a spot for this. Okay, very cool. And that's going to go in a travel log, that last piece. And then here's the back side of that one. Cute, huh? Okay, um, I'm going to end it here, and then I'll show you guys another video if you want to see part two. Okay, great. Thanks for watching. Bye.